this video, I'm gonna show you how to cook on a hot rock. But before we get started, we need to talk about safety. Any rocks that you put around a fire, whether it's a stone griddle like this or a simple campfire ring, need to come from a dry location. If you scoop up rocks out of a creek or river or any other wet location, they can be full of water, which will expand when the rocks heat up by the fire and cause the rocks to explode dangerously. So make sure you get rocks from a high dry location. Now these rocks are a combination of different types of stone. I've got some granite here, some soapstone, and then some other types of stone around as supports. You can set up your rock fireplace any way you like, but you wanna make sure that it's stable, secure, and in no danger of tipping over. And when you set it up, it's nice to level the stone surface. You can use small sh stone shims to place underneath of the rock and level it up. You can also use water to establish whether your stone frying pan is level or not. A little water poured on the stone will tell you if it's flat. Water will also tell you if your rock is ready to cook on. When the water turns to steam right away, that stone is hot enough to cook. So you want to keep your fire stoked up with lots of small sticks. Small sticks and branches are going to burn quickly with a lot of flames. And you want to maintain the flames the entire time you're cooking for even heat. Greasy foods are the best thing to cook on a rock frying pan. The oil from greasy foods naturally keeps them from sticking. Once you have some oil on the stone, then you can fry almost any other type of food. Keep your fire burning steadily and make sure all your food is cooked thoroughly. It's been about 10 minutes, so now it's time to flip our bacon. And flip our steak. So just keep your fire going underneath of your rock frying pan. Never turn your back on your food. This grease could go down create a larger grease fire, which could come up and begin to burn your food on top of the stone frying pan. And once everything's done to your satisfaction, pull it off of there and eat it up. For more from Tim McWelch, pick up his Prepare for Anything and Hunting and Gathering Survival Manuals at OutdoorLife.com forward slash McWelch.